Fi Ota Ofa, my name is Latai Tamoi Bao. Um, I am one of the artists from Declaration of Pacific Feminist Agenda. And I am presenting a dance screen work called Repatriate. Repatriate is about the urgent call from the Pacific, specifically about the climate crisis that we are currently experiencing. And so this work, Repatriate, asks some big questions about what is our responsibility towards our kainga, our people. And it is asking those of us who reside in wealthier countries about what our responsibility is. So it is a distress dance that is using the material of dance from various Pacific Island nations that I've learned in my lifetime. And I'm using the metaphor of Fonua to present this work um, with the conditions of water rising in a tank. As an art student, I often questioned, what is this for? I am somebody who has a lot of empathy, a lot of compassion, a lot of politics, but I didn't understand where the, where the art was going until I kind of understood what, what's happening with climate change. When I think about climate change, it's, it's quite a traumatising experience to think about the loss of ancestral place, the loss of resources, um, the loss of sovereignty and belonging, specifically on vulnerable Pacific islands and coastal communities. So for me, exploring the way that my body is experiencing climate change is the way to work with the Tongan cultural metaphor of whanua and then expand that out and in the hope that other people with their bodies are also receiving that work. I like to think about my practice um, in using the term favour. For me, Fiverr is an action, it's the doing of space. Fiverr actually enables me to centre the body inside the work and work within other materials or other disciplines that works across silos. I have a, a saying that I've used before, the more ancient I am, the more contemporary my work is. And this is an indigenous perspective that I feel that I embody I'm not doing anything new. I'm doing the things that my ancestors were doing. I'm just using different tools that are relevant today. Um, I'm working within different contexts that are important to me and that are meaningful. In the same way that, you know, people from my village and, and other clans around the world, Indigenous people have been doing for, for eons. We've always used dance to document our history, to tell our stories, retell our stories. But my questions are, how do we tell stories about these newer issues? How can we use the same methods that our ancestors did um, to, to talk about the things that are really problematic now? And so I feel like my practice, um, particularly around my work with climate change, is, is about um, making works that are in service of our community and of our place. I think the Pacific feminist agenda is something that has always been there. I think Pacific feminism is starting to come through, you know, literally come through the soil and the ocean. And we have to be there to let that, you know, permeate for us all. And that is, it's, it's a far more collective way of doing things. It's a far more empathetic way of doing things. It's a stronger way of doing things. It's a quieter way of doing things. It's a raucous way of doing things. It's an unapologetic way of doing things. There are people in, in the Pacific community who are already experiencing not just the impact of disaster, but the impact of the disaster and the disaster. And women are there with that, you know. Trans women are there in that. They are receiving the most heinous crimes at this, at this time. So I think the Pacific feminist agenda is across all of that. And so we need to really make the space for, for those solutions, for their voices to kind of lead us into the next ways that we approach all all facets of this environmental humanitarian disaster.